Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Commanders need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up and down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Now Williams on first and 10. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Up the middle they go with Sanders, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The numbers for Sanders last week, 15 carries, 55 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first but they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. Williams throw complete there to Smith. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Williams, off play action. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense That's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. Out comes the Washington offense as we get a look at the playoff race in the NFC. Well, we do know, Charles, they will be in the playoffs. They currently sit at pole position number one, but nothing set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. And it makes me reflect back to preseason when you and I do our tours of camps. The prevailing message in each and every one of them was what? Win the division. Win the division. Win the division. You know you're in the playoffs. It means something. It might mean it means a home game. It means a number of other things, but winning the division is paramount. You're right. They won't step off the gas here. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage.
Now a play fake here on first down. Going for it all. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. Allen Robinson, 29 yards. And the Commanders lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. A sensational one-handed grab in the end zone for the score. Looked like you at the Davis Turkey Bowl every year in the backyard in Orlando, Florida. Oh, you're so kind. That's definitely in my mind. But how about this? They always tell guys going after the ball, the receivers especially, you got to have a single-minded obsession to go get it. How about going up with a single hand and making that happen? I don't know if it gets much better than what we just saw there. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it's Allen Robinson who caps things off with a touchdown. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, this Washington defense, Charles, terrific in the victory a week ago. And every defensive team that we talk to, they spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers. And anytime you get two or more in a game, you've had a really good performance. They exceeded that number in a huge way. They got the football back four times in the win. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Here's Williams to throw on third down. Caught on the right side, Reed. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, Williams. It's caught on the right side at Smith. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. In Washington territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll run with Sanders up the middle, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Williams. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion.
The Eagles send out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. He punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Four yards remain for second down. Looking to throw. Rich over the middle complete. That's Brown. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there, good for Washington first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A very elusive run as he'll wind up getting about nine on that one. The numbers for Brown from a week ago, 17 carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown. Well, we know they've clinched a playoff spot, but there's plenty of football left to play. And I'm a proponent of continuing to do what you've done throughout the season, especially with teams that are heavy run teams. Because if you throttle back too early, you lose the rhythm of the run game, not just with the runner, but with the offensive line as well. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Looking to throw on second down. Rich, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched a playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. Williams now throwing on first down. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now Williams looking to throw on second down. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. Six 
14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Sanders again. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage and play calling, too, because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throwing the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So the drive there took six plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And the Washington offense heading out. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Off play action, Rich. That's complete to Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. play fake rich he's gonna fire one deep over the middle he's got a man complete touchdown washington a big play there with his second touchdown of the game number eight on the season and the commanders have taken a two touchdown lead now Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, well, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. You know, Charles, season winding down, time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after, either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having, just about every position is up for grabs right now. No one is really safe, but the focal point's always the quarterback position. And he may be auditioning to try and stay with his own current team. I think he's auditioning for the rest of the league to try and find a spot because I think this team is looking for a new quarterback. Williams to throw on second down. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Now 
They go play action here on first down. It's caught, Smith. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. 13 yards remaining on second down. Back to throw again. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They'll look to throw again. And once again, this is Sanders. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Osa Odigizawa. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Traditionally, as a defense, your number one job, stop the run. But in today's football, it's impacting the opposing quarterback. Make him uncomfortable. And so far, they've not been able to do that. Not at all. He's been really comfortable in the pocket. Three touchdown passes already. So that could be an important first sack if they do want to turn things around. Come on, come on. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Back to throw. Rich. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Looking to throw. Rich. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 15 yards to pick up, first down Washington. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. First down, Rich. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Back to the air on second down. Rich. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Let's go now. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Throwing on third and long. Rich over the middle here to Brown. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. 
It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Back to throw. Williams got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw, Williams. Left side here to Sanders. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Now, these two teams met in our nation's capital earlier this season with the Commanders picking up the win at FedEx Field. So they're looking for another win here in Washington to take the season sweep. It's a second down run with Sanders. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him by passing downs. Here's Williams on first down, and they're going to get this up to midfield. Second down and three. Running right, here's Sanders. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player, and it appears to be Devontae Smith who's having some problems here. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. It's a gain of three. First down, Eagles. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ready, ready. A reminder that coming up in two minutes time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Flushed up, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. Williams now looking to throw on second down. 
They have pressure coming, and they got it once again. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose. Throwing on first down. Rich. This is caught by Robinson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. To throw on second down, Rich. And this one is incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play and that leads us to a third and three. He finds Robinson. And he's going to have a commander's first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. As you know, so many things in the passing game are based on yardage. Sometimes it's just based on timing. And that's what we saw right there on that play. Third and three. Just get the ball right to the receiver. This is the hitch route. And tell us, what is the hitch route? Yeah, just take really one step, like you're driving off the line of scrimmage, get the defensive back on his heels, get the ball out to the receiver, and he does the rest. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Rich. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And not much happening there as he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the commanders on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, where you see the final score there. The Lions will not finish above 500 this year, but 8-9 is still within reach as they pick up victory number five. From there, we head up to Wisconsin to check out the Packers at home in Lambeau. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Miami Dolphins. John Mechie, a touchdown catch in the victory. And lastly, Monday Night Football has a good one lined up between the Cleveland Browns and the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. 
No run back here for Reed, so this will come out to the 25. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Back to throw. Williams escaping the pressure. Williams loses the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. Extra point try now for Patterson. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Eagles offense making their way back out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now Williams to throw on second down. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Williams from the gun on third down, eluding the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Cole Holcomb proving too much there for the offensive line. He gets the sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of the team they don't have anything to say at all. They tell the rest just of the coaches, just, a little bit. just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in basketball, getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing tonight. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. On first and 10. Rich, flush to his right. 
The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times. Round game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They go right back to the ground here in Brown. 46 yards rushing for him now. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll run on third down with Brown. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Right back to Brown. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Working with second and five now. An inside give, Brown. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Third down, Baker. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for it in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. several scores but yeah at least that's a start Charles getting the interception here and look we're still in the third quarter so this thing not done yet you're right about that Brandon this defense they haven't quit on this game they stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense and what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple the last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off play action. Williams. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Williams on first and ten and a dangerous throw there on the drop off incomplete nearly intercepted here's second and ten now from the 29 throwing again Williams this will be caught by Brown and to the 36 yard line taken down there after getting eight yards Williams now on third and two. 
And that is incomplete. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And they will take over first and 10. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception. So we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play in this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from the 36 now, first and 10. They keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. This is Brown on the draw play. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. On first down, Rich throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Rich, this a quick slant, and he's got Terry McLaurin. This is Brown going up the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Another run for Brown on second down. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Here's a give to Brown. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Little well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today, to try and get him over 100 yards. They give it to Brown. Travis Jones makes a tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On the handoff, this is Brown. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 17. 105 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. The offense on third down today, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. Here it's third and two. And able to complete it to Moreau. And the commanders are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Operating from the gun. Rich buying time to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack sets him back a full 10 yards there on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Let's go now. 
first down a bit of a disaster and now on second and goal back even further looking to throw rich that's complete to his receiver McLaurin five yards that time on the completion and now it's third and goal timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right then cut straight across the field I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. No, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Patterson's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. No field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Now Williams throwing on first down. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Operating from the gun, Williams. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. Back to throw, Williams. Throw left side complete, that's Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Looking to throw, Williams. He's gonna drop this down to Sanders. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Williams on first down. Over the middle complete, it's Smith. And he's gonna be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Here's Williams, looking to throw on second down. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's gonna be marked down just inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. Sanders sidestepping his way into the end zone. It's a touchdown. 
and wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with a football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not enough space. Normally way more effective when you're working out in the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Handing it off to Brown. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Another run for Brown on second down. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This will be third and five. And he will make it back to the line of scrimmage, but that is all. Fourth down coming up as we reach the two-minute warning. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this will remain an 18-point lead. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. A high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Washington will take control of the football in great field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And this crowd has certainly liked what they've seen. Their guy, they have not disappointed as they've got the big lead here in the fourth. Draw play for Brown. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 123 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout.